you and Keith Schreiner, what a what a great combination! Uh, uh, you know, pe- people more people should know about this. Right, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I, no, I'm excited. I I'm very excited, Tom. Thank you. How did this happen? Well, about three years ago, a friend of ours, a mutual friend of Keith and I, his name's T.J. Sivis, and he's a he's actually a film director, and he introduced me to Keith at um, a party and. I was I had seen Keith with Dahlia and uh-huh. with Stephanie Schneiderman and was just like wow I this is what I want to do, and at the time I I had was playing with a acoustic band, <laughs> and it was a great band and everything and Keith had come to my show and he was like wow you're you a great voice and what do you want to do and I was a little bit unsure exactly how I wanted to proceed and um, kind of we've been on each other's radar ever since then and that was like like I said like three years ago so it's been a long time coming for me to get in his studio and I have so much love and respect for this man he's such a genius so I'm really excited about this upcoming EP that we put together and it's a compliment of my obsession with electronic music and Mm -hmm. obviously his (laughs) Mm -hmm. and also there's some symphony arrangements so I like to think that it's a bit sophisticated uh-huh. Which is, I think that's really Keith too, in a lot of ways. He's such a professional, and it's so wonderful to work with somebody that, you know, cares and is, is really just a perfectionist mm-hmm. when it comes to his craft. So I hope you guys enjoy what we're putting together for you. Well, the, when, when he got together with Stephanie Schneiderman, that was a shock. Right. The result was a shock. And I guess when people think about you, <laughs> putting you in, the, in, in, in an electronic um, swimming pool, uh, that's kind of shocking too. Mm-hmm. But, but um, obviously this is something that, you, that you, you've wanted to do. It is. It's going to be a shock for some people. Um, I'd say it's, it's going to be more of a shock for the fans of the acoustic arena and the ones who haven't really seen me jump up with DJs and grab microphones and do improv. Because uh-huh. that's a whole other side of me that has been really just beckoning to come out for a long time <laughs> so half of half of my friends my close friends are going to be really not surprised and then most of my fans who have kind of known me as this acoustic artist are probably going to be like what is this and I think that they'll also be pleasantly surprised because Keith is amazing and he knows I guess how to really um, work with powerful female vocalists and really work around them and make sure that their vocals aren't being drowned out Mm -hmm. and that they are coming through in their music Mm -hmm. you know so the authenticity of my sound is is what really what we're making so it's beautiful it's a dream come true (laughs) now it's legendary when and probably apocryphal although although they like to tell the story that when when he and stephanie went in the studio the first thing he said to her was no strumming (laughs) right (laughs) There was some of that going on, for sure. Um, in fact, there's not very much guitar on this EP at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, very, very little. And not to say that that won't, wouldn't happen live. I think it's important to mention that the coolest thing about this project is that it can have so many presentations live. You can do um, a full band with some electronic stems being played through a laptop. Mm-hmm. Or you can do just me and my guitar in more of a down-tempo feel with some of the stems. Or you can do a DJ and me with a microphone, just being all crazy and in my body uh-huh. and uh-huh. all that fun stuff. Uh-huh. So um, I'm excited to see and really deliver what people really want to see is uh-huh. kind of what I want to give them because I don't want to limit myself. I think you got to be versatile, and that's one of my strengths. And um, I, I still love acoustic music. I still will always write with the guitar and probably perform with the guitar. Um, and at the same time, it's just so good to do something new that I've been really just, it's been bugging me for a while and it's yeah. time to do it. <laughs> well, what, what did he do? What do you mean? With what the music? did he do? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, how, how did he, uh, how did he affect you? Did he change you or, uh, uh, did he change your music? What, this, uh, I, I know this, the sound is going to be different, but uh, the, the result, is it different from what you originally heard in your head before you started working with him? Well, I try not to have expectations, for one, mm-hmm. and I think that Keith is the same. He and I, I think just in working with him, I've learned who he is and, and you know how he works, and that's a wonderful gift because we had a great time together. And Keith is 
walked into it much like I did. Like we wanted the songs to tell us how they wanted to be heard, you know? So that's the way he works and that's the way that I work when I write. They, they write themselves. And so I'd like to say that together we, this kind of happened organically and the songs wrote themselves. <laughs> you know, it's pretty magical. <laughs> That's amazing. Is that really true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, uh, well, I have my construction, my normal yeah. construction. So, yeah. when, okay, when you get down to brass tacks, uh -huh. I play him a, a piece. I play him my song. He just thinks about it, and then he'll he'll just start playing on the keys a little bit, yeah. and we'll, we'll, I'll sing him the song. I'll lay down a piece of the guitar, mm -hmm. whether we use it or not, and then I'll just sing the same verse over and over again. I'll sing the same chorus over and over again. And then he just starts kind of like doing his little Mozart stuff and <laughs> creating this masterpiece around it. And what I've also learned working with him and just working with lots of musicians already is less is more. Like we might throw out a bunch of stuff all at once and then we end up taking a bunch of it away. And, uh, you know, it doesn't need that much around it is really what I've realized. And in working with other local producers that are also fantastic, um, that's a piece of advice that I throw their way is that less is often more when you're working with a vocalist to just really um, make sure that you know they're showing their strengths and then the production can really show its strengths in the right little places so it's not competing right so he's really good at that <laughs> so you have a Kickstarter campaign I do yeah it's very exciting <laughs> to raise money for for the CP to finish it yeah to finish it I've I've taken a leap of faith and thrown as much as I could on my personal credit card and you know it's maxed out so I'm really hoping that some fans and family and friends will you know want to be involved in this and be be an investor in, in me and what we're trying to do because I believe in it and I'm super excited and this is just the beginning so I have plans about where I'd want to take the music and where I think it would go over best and you know, hopefully everybody will, I guess, at least watch the video and mm -hmm. try to get to know me better because I want to get to know you. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, you know, we're all here to help inspire each other. And I think this music has something to say. It's not just about dancing, mm -hmm. you know, so. <laughs> and that, that's the video that's just below this video. Correct. <laughs> it's, just a, it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek, funny yeah. way of, uh -huh. of um, expressing my obsession with electronic music and some of the local people that I've had the opportunity to work with over the years and just wonderful people who have kind of um, been involved in my campaign. And uh, it's kind of funny because it's, a lot of it's based on a true story. Like you'll see a little part with Carl. Mm -hmm. And I used to bug the crap out of him to go sing with him. <laughs> and, uh, you know, at first he didn't know me, so he'd be like, no, no. <laughs> and then he let me up one time, and then he, and then he got it. And, you know, we're, we're all good now. <laughs> so check it out. How much longer do you have to go? For, for, well, I've raised $2,030, and mm -hmm. there's about 17 days left. So ah. we got a long ways to go. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Need it. <laughs>